to his healing was God. He said it was God. And he said it's time for us to get out of the walls of the church and go out and tell people what God can do. And this man looked at me and he said, this is confirmation for you. And the man handed me $10. I didn't ask for it. They didn't even know I was a radio announcer until I got ready to leave. And he was just like, the Lord told me to give you this. So see y'all, it pays to be obedient. I was obedient. I actually um had drove past the place and the spirit said, turn around and go back, go back. And if I had not went back, I would not have heard such wonderful testimonies tonight. I mean, that day. Um, to share with y'all, and I'm telling y'all, whatever you're going through, God is able. He's that type of God that he's able to do all things exceedingly and abundantly. That man said he was at stage three and stage four. Can you imagine having four different types of cancer in your body? Not knowing you're going to make it and all you had to hold on to was God. But because our God is so big and faithful. He knew he was going to be a survivor, and to this day, he is still a, sh a survivor, so shout-outs to him. And also, Cammie Bowden wants to send a shout-out to all my nieces and nephews and says that I love you. All right, that is so good. So, y'all, we're moving on long now. Moving on long because I got a few minutes to tell y'all this. So we're talking about how to de-stress your relationship. So that is the relationship 411, how to de-stress it. Okay, so y'all know in all kinds of relationships, it comes with challenges. Uh, you get your ups and downs. You get your good and bad. You get your, your brutal and, and funky. <laughs> You know, there's just all kind of things that you got to go through in relationships. And these challenges can bring about feelings of stress and anxiety that if it's not properly managed, it can have serious health risk. And also, um, it can end up leading to broken relationships, broken homes, you know, families just going through this and that. Un unnecessary, you know, unnecessary baggage when... You can just take time out of your day to de-stress your relationship by, first of all, I'm only going to read a few of these, y'all. And y'all can always go back and read this article for yourself at Psychology Today. These are 10 t tips to de-stress your relationship. And their website is www.psychologytoday.com. Okay, so they're saying that... One way you can de-stress is to commit to striving for a healthy relationship no matter what difficulties may arise. Eliminate the exits and obstacles to healing and intimacy. Quitting is not an option. Number two, be respectful. Even when you are not feeling respected, disrespect does long-term harm to any relationship. There is no excuse for bad behavior. Number three, I like this one, y'all. I like it. Take care of yourself. You cannot do, um, wait a minute, you cannot give what you don't have. Develop a small but powerful support system. Find fun, passion, and inspiration in something outside of the strained relationship. Don't expect one person to be that for you. Oh, yes, that's so true, y'all. You you know, even while you're in relationships, you still need to have your own set of friends in case nobody's told you that. Nobody told me that whenever I was um back in my mess. <laughs> Nobody told me that I needed to have my own set of friends just in case. You know, it's always healthy. Okay, number four is make regular emotional deposits. Validate, encourage, stroke, and appreciate your loved ones at a rate of five positives to every negative comment or request. Oh, y'all hear that? So you need to find five positive things to every one negative. That's good right there. I like that. Somebody's thinking here. Number five is connect daily with eye contact, attention, and affection and create special opportunities for deeper connections such game night, laughter, walks, vacations, or spending individual time. 
Y'all make time for one another. Please, please do it for the sake of love. Love, love. Number five is accept others as is and overlook weakness. During stressful times, relationships may be strained and critical. Shift your focus away from flaws and toward the qualities you like and appreciate. Loving is a choice and it will return whenever you consciously look for the good things in the people you care about. Out. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Number seven is maintain healthy boundaries. To protect your family and relationships from coming invaders, such as jobs, too much activity, intrusive family members, or friends, telephone, computer, TV, etc. So, y'all, put them healthy boundaries out there. Number eight is plan for intimate encounters. Don't wait for it to just happen. Deepening relationship requires relationships requires planning and effort. Take responsibility for creating the environment as well as the mental and emotional state that will improve your connection. Number nine is conserve energy. Monitor your energy the way you do money. There is a limited supply and you must decide how to spend it. Without boundaries, energy is wasted on less important things and people who are not a priority. If you value your relationship, folks, you must save energy for yourself and your loved ones every day. Every day. Every day. Oh, Jesus made it possible. All right, that came out of nowhere. Okay, y'all, are y'all ready for number 10? Okay, so number 10, y'all know I had to throw that in there. I had to. Number 10 is live your truth. Have a mission statement for your life and your family and reevaluate it yearly. Ask yourselves, is this the life we want to be living? If it isn't, make a plan for gradual change in any area that needs it. Seek help when you feel stuck. Seek help when you feel stuck. So, y'all, that is the ten. That is the ten tips right there to de-stress your relationships. And that's all relationships. Y'all know how that works. All these relationships we get into, we got so many relationships going on that we can't really focus on the main one. So, y'all narrow it in. And take those tips and put it to use, okay? You're listening to UGA Gospel Storm Midnight Love Garden with Miss Coco Bowden. And we're going to leave it in the hands of the Lord right here, y'all. That's the best thing you can do with anything and anybody is leave them in the hands of the Lord. Here is the song.
God, in the name of Jesus, I stretch forth my hand to you right now, O oh Lord. Lord, I ask that you touch everyone that's under the sound of my voice, that is listening rather near or far, O oh God. I ask that you would touch the minds on tonight and their families, O oh God. Anybody who may be dealing with CTE or either mental illness, O oh God, we ask right now that you will renew our mind and our strength, renew renew our brain cells, oh God, so that we could act accordingly and efficiently in your way, will in your way, oh God. Lord, we ask right now that if there be any sick among this line, um, among this broadcast, oh God, that you will touch them, oh God, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, oh God. Send a special hedge of protection around them as they travel to and fro, fro from their doctor's appointments to their jobs, oh Lord. Even to their families' homes, oh God. We ask that you touch them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, whatever that person that is struggling is in need of, God, I ask that you will make the necessary provisions right now in the mighty name of Jesus to give them their needs, oh God. Give them their heart's desires. If it's in your will, oh God, we ask these things and more of you, God. We just thank you for another blessed night, morning, wherever you are right here on the UGA Gospel Storm Midnight Love Garden show God and we ask that you just touch everybody worldwide in the mighty name of Jesus amen amen you're listening to UGA gospel store midnight love God Miss Coco Bowden Side for all the wrong turns made, the sorrow and the shame you hide, your life's a masquerade beneath your trembling smile lies a broken heart like a Steady rain, a storm you watch go by.